Welcome back to Logic Roots, where we are reinventing how kids practice math. I'm Saloni, and today we are going to learn how to play the game Say Cheese. In this game, we are going to practice eight core math skills, including multiplication tables from four to ten, and multiplication as repeated addition. Mice from all over the world have gathered for their biggest sporting event, that is. the icc or the international cheese clash tournament the mouse who gets the most number of cheese coins in the end will win up to four players can play this game now let's go through the contents of this game this game comes with the play arena now this is the place where the mice compete for their cheese coins four cheese bags four logic slates these are write and wipe slates where you could write with a water sketch pen and erase with a damp cloth four sketch pens and a rule book this game also has 50 orange cheese coins numbered from 1 to 50 and 50 green cheese coins numbered 51 to 100 now you will need to choose the cheese cake You can play with all 100 cheese cakes but if the kids are new to the tables then you might just start with 50 coins that are the orange coins that are numbered from 1 to 50 for practicing multiplication facts beyond 10 and to make the game play more challenging you can play with all the coins so the first step is to mix all the coins and then split them in four piles which have roughly the same number of coins now put these coins in the cheese bags and give one to each player so now Let's start the gameplay. First and foremost, we need to decide the table for which we will play the game. For now, let's play for the table of 5. So now cheese number will be 5. Ask all the players to write 5 in the topmost circle in their respective logic slate. With the cheese number decided, The first player will now take out a cheese coin from the bag without looking inside. Once the player has the number, he should look at it. See whether it's a multiple of 5 or not. Then place it in the play arena. And like that we will move through for the turns. Now suppose you get a number that is a multiple of 5. For example 30. Now announce its value for the other players. 30. Throw the coin in the play arena. Say cheese. Cheese. And now say the multiplication fact of 5. 5 into 6 is equal to 30. Now if the fact is correct, the player can take up all the cheese coins from the play arena and put them in his bag now there is one rule that needs to be followed while playing this game any wrong move that is collecting coins without saying cheese or saying the wrong multiplication fact will result in the player for going the cheese cakes even if the cake slice was a multiple of 5 and as penalty the player will also have to keep one extra slice of the cheese cake out of her bag and in the field now let's see how 15 3 into 5 is equal to 
So these cheesecakes are mine now. You cannot take these cheesecakes. Why? Because you did not say cheese. Oh. So now it's my turn. Fifteen. Cheese. Three into five equals to fifteen. And where is your penalty coin? Oh. Keep your penalty coin. Good. Now let's continue the game. Forty-five. Cheese. Five into eight equals to forty-five. Now these cheese coins are. Wait. What? You said the multiplication wrong. It's oh. cheese. Forty-five. Nine into five is equal to forty-five. So here so is here's my... your penalty coin, and the cheese belongs to me. As adults, we remember tables, so it is easy for us to say that five into six equals to thirty. But imagine how kid would do it. He will start with five into one equals to five. 5 into 2 equals to 10 5 into 3 equals to 15 till he reaches 5 into 6 equals to 30 so for each cheese coin he practices the entire table of 5 all over and he does this not only for his own coins but also for his competitors moves just to make sure that they are not cheating that is the power of this game and its gameplay in one session you do more multiplication practice than you do in an entire week to practice tables more efficiently the players can use the write and wipe logic slates where they can write the whole table and refer to it as many times as they want to during the game this game can be continued for as long as the player wants to practice a certain table In the end, I would like to leave you with three tips. Tip 1: Focus on accuracy, not speed. Early on, encourage the kids to be correct rather than fast. For more accuracy, motivate them to use logic slates. Tip 2: Follow the given rule. The rule is designed to increase fun and math practice manifold. follow it religiously tip 3 play more as they play more not only will they get comfortable with maths but more importantly the kids will start enjoying math for more videos on easy and fun ways to practice math please subscribe to our channel down below and stay tuned happy gaming